with new lesson in unit 9. That will be lesson 2. All kinds of problems. So, as you can tell from the pictures, we're going to talk about robots. Robots can go to the outer space, or teeny tiny robots that you can carry a few of them on your fingertip. So, let us hear the sport and let us get to know some of the robots. Listen carefully. Now, 
That's the next form of that, which is in hospitals. That's how doctors do operations inside the patient's body. The doctor sits at a computer and shows the robot what to do. The robot arms hold tiny tools and words. The tiny tools can reach places that a doctor's hands can't reach, like inside a patient's brain. Together, the robot and the doctor make an excellent team. Robots at home. Have you ever thought about living with a robot? Scientists in Japan have built a robot that looks like a child in a spacesuit. Scientists want the robot to be a helper for people who are old or in wheelchairs. Right now, the robot can understand some spoken instructions. It can walk, climb stairs, turn on the light, open doors, and carry things. That was about the robots. This four stones. We have the first one, do operations. We use the verb do when we're talking about operations. And the doctor cuts the body of a patient to fix a problem inside it. Patient, now it's a noun, not an adjective, it's a noun. Not like what we had before in the first term. That's a sick person. An example, my dad does operations to patients. He is a, of course, a doctor. Good job. Next, space suit. What an astronaut wear on outer space. The astronaut who goes to space should wear a white suit to protect and help him space. That's the space suit. Remember something in the punctuation. We don't have a space between space and suit. It's one word. Yes. Now, now. Spoken instructions. Orders that a person can say. Good job. Now, a very important note. Some and other. These two words can be followed by a countable noun. Or, yes, and it should be in plural form. It should be in plural form. That's what we had in the book. What do robots look like? And then when we talk, we can talk about some robots, other robots. This is the classwork that we're doing together, either in groups or in pairs. The activities that can we do, that we can do after the class. We can talk about the robots, we can write and talk with your partner, write for questions about the text, swap your questions with another pair, answer their questions. When Two sitting together, one is asking question, the other is answering. It's a discussion. When doing this discussion, you can easily gain many information. Then, that's very interesting. Design your own robot, draw a picture, and write about it. This is the time when you use your imagination and think about a robot that can help you do something. And you're making its design, you're drawing and planning what that robot can do. Then you will draw a picture and also you will write about it. Then you can talk to us about it. I would leave this as a project for you to do at home to tell us more about it. And I can include this in the video later on if any of you sends me
such projects. Now, this is a board that we have on the activity. I took this board because also it does uh, have some words that we really need to know about. The logo bees, we've seen this picture before in the learners. Scientists have invented tiny flying robots called robo bees. Scientists hope that in the future, robo bees will be able to do many things. Just like real bees, robo bees will carry pollen from flower to flower on farms. The flower need the flowers need to be pollinated so that the fruit and vegetables can grow. Robo bees will also fly through tiny holes in dangerous places taking photographs for scientists and they will help find people who are trapped in fallen buildings after an earthquake. Good. Let us talk about a few uh, words that we don't have, we should know the meanings for. That would be pollen or pollinate. Pollen is the noun, pollinate is the verb. The pollen is a powder in the center of the flower. Pollinate is the action of carrying this powder to other flowers. The bees pollinate the flowers to carry the pollen to other flowers. Got this. Earthquake. Earthquake, a sudden strong move in the crust of earth, in the outer part of earth, in the area that we are living on. Maybe your parents can remember this. In 1992, we had a dangerous earthquake in Egypt. Everyone remembers that. It was very memorable and dangerous, of course. A strong, sudden shake on the crust of the earth, on the land we are living on. I will take you back to this little part. We often use will to say how things will be in the future. To, to say how things will be in the future. What do you mean, Minister? I will say my prediction. I will say what I think. I have no evidence for this. I'm just saying what I think, what I hope. So, in this case, I can use will. In the future, can mean tomorrow, next year, or many years from now. Any coming time. We're done now with our lesson, and it's time for the questions. So, Space from flower to flower on farms. Sweet pollen honey. The two men died when they were space in a burning building. When they lived, were trapped, were trapped. I don't know which one has the good the correct spelling. You can tell me that later. Three. Go outside a space station. Space station is the place where an astronaut can live in space. You must wear a suit, space suit, space suit. What is the difference between both? One with a space, that's two words, and one has one word. Which one is correct? I've got space money that she has. I have got space money that she has. That is it. In the 
future robots will be or be be able to do many things. Robots and doctors after help. You had this since before. After help, it should be infinitive. But doctors, space operations inside patients' body may do have. Take a moment, think about it, and later on we can solve the answers. Are you ready? Here we go. Robots will carry space from flower to flower on fault. Tell me the answers. We call it money. Exactly. Pollen. Good job. The two men died when they were space in a burning building. Lived, trapped, trapped. Okay. Died so when they lived, of course, no way. So, which trapped has the spelling, has the correct spelling? Double P or one P? The double P because the origin or the present of this verb, verb T R A P. So a vowel, short vowel before the last letter, I should double the last letter. So that's the correct one. To go outside the space station, you must wear a suit, space suit, or space suit. Good job. Money than she has. Most more than. Job. In the future, robots space be able to do many things. In the future, I think that will be. Good job. Robots help doctors. Make do have perfect. That was all for our lesson today. As I said, we will collect the best robots and we will show it, we will include it in this video. Hope you do your best. Thank you all. Bye bye.